Hey, it's Blake here, and I want to talk to you about ways to make money during an inflationary economy during a recession. Yikes, does that sound familiar? Is that the kind of thing you're going through right now? Maybe it is. Uh, what I'm going to recommend you do is sell things on eBay. For those of you who don't know what eBay is, the giant marketplace, you list stuff, you sell it, you ship it out. Very easy. Most of my channel is dedicated to either Amazon, eBay, online sales like that, but I want to reach a wider audience, so we're just saying how to make money. Well, one of those ways is eBay. Uh, now, once we have that established, eBay is a great place to make money. During an inflation, inflationary times, when inflation is high, prices are going up. Uh, what people often do during a recession is they go, I got to lower prices. I have to make things cheaper and make them more accommodating for people who are hurting because I'm hurting. Uh, and they project their personal financial situation on everyone else, and that's bad. Why is that bad? Well, first of all, it's never good to anecdotally project your own personal circumstances onto other people. Uh, it's just a bad idea. But secondly, because as uh, prices go up, tick, tick, tick up, everything's going up, what you don't want to do is lower your prices. That's the profit you're making is just being sandwiched between these two driving forces. Uh, and if you're not making any money, why are you working? It doesn't make any sense, right? So what you want to do is you want to find out who has the money, right? Because one thing causes inflation, and that's a surplus of money in the economy. That's what causes inflation. There's too much money going around. Therefore, things cost more uh, because people have to compete for buyers and, and workers. And it's a whole economic thing. We'll talk about that in a different video if you want to. But for now, just know that what causes inflation is a surplus of money in the economy. So who has that money? I don't know. Somebody does. People are getting that money. What do they want? Right? What do those people who have money want? And even within your own budget or someone's own budget, if I say you, just know I'm talking to you out in the world, not you specifically. Uh, within someone's budget, they have an allocated amount of money to spend on uh, entertainment items. You know, historically speaking, during recessions, people spend more of their disposable income on entertainment, specifically things that grant them longer amounts of pleasure. Think about like in terms of ROI. So if you can spend 40 bucks in a video game that grants you 40 or 60 or 100 hours of enjoyment, then that's going to be a good investment. So what we have to do is cater our inventory, the things that you sell, to uh, the kind of things people are spending their surplus funds on, specifically people who have more surplus funds than other. So what you don't want to do is take your the quality of your product and your prices and just start wrestling in the mud. Don't do that. Don't go down to the bottom. Don't fight for the poorest buyers because I hate to say this, I don't mean to offend anybody, but people who don't have a lot of money to spend on, on eBay or things that they buy online, you get more returns. They're more demanding customers, and overall, from your experience as a seller, it's a worse, a worse time. I always make a note to incrementally raise my prices up, and if I'm getting a bunch of lowball offers on an item, you know what I do? I raise the price up because I don't even want to deal with those people. So I know that it's tempting to, again, lower your prices try and accommodate these poor people or people who are looking for deals or whatever it is, leave that to Walmart, right? They can do that. They can figure out ways to cut inefficiencies in supply chains and squeeze suppliers, whatever. They can do that. What you want to do as an individual, someone trying to make money as a side hustle or a part-time business, or if you're like me, something that produces enough income to pay for your warehouse rent, to pay for your mortgage, to pay for a lot of stuff in your life. If you want to do that, you want to be maximizing the ROI of every action, and that means finding the things you're going to make the most money on, and that means finding things that people who have surplus funds are willing to spend the most on. It could be DVDs. It could be video games. It could be anything that people can use to give their lives a little bit more enjoyment. And then you want to get those items in front of as many people as possible because, again, we're trying to find the people who have the most money to spend. We're trying to accommodate their lifestyle. So is that advertising? It might be. You can do tons of stuff on eBay to promote items. Is that cross-posting? It could be. Is that using social media channels to market your own products? Maybe you do private label stuff and not eBay stuff. Or maybe you do private label on eBay. It, it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is we're adopting this strategy of casting an extremely wide net trying to catch the biggest fish and not wasting time on the minnows. 
Hope that made sense. If you liked it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.